Ladies and gentlemen, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of inspiration and realness. Also, this is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, personality, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself from his Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Mr. Shenanigans himself and the two-time Chilling 3000 2022 End of the Year Awards winner, Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to yet another episode of Eric Lee with Shenanigans of 1977. We're going to we're going to finish off tonight after watching after being on Rant and Rave with some impact of the fallout from Slam Anniversary. And um, I want to uh, warn you guys right now: the ending part of Impact that just happened not too long ago was all botched up. And and I will explain what. But thank God you had some alternatives, you know. The closed caption thing was working, so that was pretty good news. But the rest of the um, the rest of the broadcast was pretty decent, but it was not good towards the end, and I will explain. Uh, Scott D. Uh, DeMort uh, kicks off Impact Wrestling, dresses the um, and wins a crowd, thanking them and all that. Now that Scott DeMort is back in charge, um, the good hands interrupt Scott DeMort. They were threatening him, so he says, I'll book a tag match against Rich Swan and Sammy Callahan. That match has started, and... Uh, and the good hands, that'll be Jason Hodge and John Schuyler. And and Swan and Callahan did pick up a victory in that matchup. Hopefully, they're looking for a tag team title shot in the future. But, however, the former champ, speaking of which, ABC, Chris Bay and Ace Austin were addressing what happened at Slammiversary. The tag team title loss, which they're, gonna, they're in a rematch to get the belts back. But the Rascals, who caused them the tag matches, Rascals interrupted them. And both teams brawl to the point where security separates them. Demore had enough. He says, you guys got a tag team title match. You got, and he tells the Rascals, get their stuff. Their, your guys are objected from the building. So, um, Gian Miller interviewed Eric Young. And um, Eric Young was uh, talking about being back on impact. And uh, he says he's got a lot to say about what happened to him for the past, in the past nine months. And so, Nick Aldis interrupts him. Now, at this time, I think this, this episode was taped before Nick Aldis had left Impact once again. Uh, we talked a little bit about that on Rant and Rave. Um, Nick Aldis said, hey, how about this? You and I go one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see what, what develops. And, he, and Eric Young goes, you know what? There's, the, there's a ring. Two guys settle it. Let's, and they both shake hands afterwards. Then... Uh, Jake something went one on one with um, Kevin Knight. This was a heck of a fight. It was a it was a it was a heck of a fight. The match could have gone either way, but Jake something did defeat Kevin Knight in that matchup. Courtney Rush went one on one with Savannah Evans as a Sean Taraj, but then during the matchup, Jody Threat came out and kidnapped Jay Vidal. I Jay Vidal trying to get involved in the matchup, but Jody Threat says, "Uh uh, you're coming in the back with me," and uh, a little bit more in that situation. Uh, then the Coven, uh, so that, but that distraction long enough to give Courtney Rush the victory over Savannah Evans as Jessica celebrates with Rush, the Death Dolls, pick up another victory in one-on-one -on -one competition. Now the Coven was addressing Trinity, making fun, you know, after Trinity won the title and everything else. But then they were mad at MK Ultra. that would be the team of Monster Slammer Bitch and Keller Kelly for de defeating the Coven for the Tag Team Championships. <clears throat> and Tom Hennepin sat down with an interview with Jonathan Gresham. And uh, it was like Jonathan Gresham is very frustrated about not having rules and regulations in professional wrestling. And wants to change a few things. And basically got up in his chair, dropped the microphone and walked out. And Tom Hennepin's like... What the heck is going on? Then a, a grudge match with Santino Morella versus Dirty Dango. These two went at it. And Santino Morella was about to use the Cobra uh, until a guy in riot gear came out. So, a guy in riot gear came out and basically took the Cobra away from Santino, distracting him. And Dirty Dango ended up picking up the victory. And then... Celebrated with the guy in right gear who took off his helmet. It's none other, none other than former referee John E. Bravo. Are you freaking kidding me right now? 
At first, I thought it was Breeze making, you know, signing with Impact and reuniting with his former Breezango partner. But nope, it was none other than John E. Bravo. What's the, the relationship between those two clowns? What about the... What, I'm sure we'll certainly uh, we'll be finding that out very, very soon. Uh, unbelievable. So, uh, Sean Evans decided to uh, go around the corridor and the hallways looking for Jane Vidal. But they run into MK Ultra. It's excuse you and all this. And, you know, oh, you, you've been here, you're on Russian and starts dissing them. And then Jody threatened, <laughs> took Jay Vidal and says, I'm not doing this again. And Jay Vidal was like in a fetal position, traumatized about something. Oh, what did Jody Threat do to poor Jay Vidal? Hmm. Mm 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 mm. Uh, I can I can't just imagine what's going through through Jody Threat's mind, and what's going through Jay Vidal's mind right now. I'll tell you one thing. Uh, thank God I'm not Jay Vidal because I think Jody Threat would beat the crap out of me. Well. <laughs> Uh, I, he, she must have done something to Jay Vidal that probably traumatized the guy for life. And Jay was like, I don't care. I need a new outfit. Really? Giselle? Just make sure your boy's okay next time. Cheapest. Let me tell you, it was a little crazy. So, Oh, I forgot to mention one little part. Uh... After the br the break of the fight with uh, the Rascals, the, the more did um, Johnny Swinger and Zicky Dice confront um, Scott the more. He goes, with 50 matches again. Okay, just one matchup. One matchup. And, but, you know, who am I facing? And he goes, oh, you're facing Zicky Dice. And then Zicky Dice was shocked at first, but then all of a sudden Zicky Dice, I get to lay down for you. The guy's an idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden Scott the more hold overheard the conversation. And said, oh yeah, it's a loser leaves Impact match. The loser gets fired from Impact. Scott Demore saw right through the game mind games of Johnny Swinger and Zicky Dice, dude. Anyways. So, uh... Okay, so back to the current time. Eddie Edwards and Alicia addressing uh, Frankie uh, Kazarian and Tracy Brooks. Kazarian and Brooks kind of showed up and started, and Tracy Brooks got into it with Alicia. Those two started a fight, and then the husband started to brawl. Security had to separate the, those two. Impact Tag Team Tiles on the line. Subculture defends against ABC, the Ace and Bay connection. And Ace and Bay, as they were trying to go for those Tag Team Tiles, the Rascals, who were supposed to be banned from the arena, got involved in the matchup and basically caused Subculture to retain the championships. Now, here's where everything went south for Access TV. Giles Alexander returns and addresses the Windsor crowd. Now, this is when no audio, this, this is no audio had happened. So I'm like, uh-oh, not good. But then, I, you know, we couldn't hear what he had to say, so I had an idea. They had a, oh, excuse me, closed caption button, and the closed caption button works. And basically, he says he's 100% cleared to return and dresses Alex Shelley. Alex Shelley interrupts Alexander and said, you know what? We'll find out. Basically. And then Leo Rush interrupts uh, Alex Shelley and Al Josh Alexander because you know something? So I'm the X Division champion. I may cash it in for option C. Remember, you can cash in the X Division for option C and go for the title shot. But then Kushida came out and said, don't forget about me. I won it in this matchup. Basically, and then Bully Ray interrupts all four gentlemen in in the ring. But Moose and Myers jumped uh, Josh Alexander and Alex Shelley from behind. Bully Ray goes out to Kushida, and Leo Rush wisely, the X Division being the X Division champ, has decided to skip out of the ring. And in the end, standing Moose Myers and Bully Ray, hmm. this alliance between those three, good luck trying to make that work. All three men have big, humongous ego problems. Simple as that. That means we wait for you. Oh, excuse me. Um, and then, but that's not the whole thing that happened. But it didn't cut to that segment because it cut the commercial and then it was going to New Japan Wrestling. 
A lot of fans for Impact, they're not very happy. This is one part of the reason why Impact's gone down to Bemis in ratings. You gotta get a new, a legit channel that can give you the proper feed. Is, is, are, are the TV people, uh, TV uh, production teams, uh, channel production teams now on strike too? Uh, you know, could be the Canadian wildfires that may have affected the broadcast. I don't know. But in the end, but I got every, I got the information I needed in the end. So, so that is it. So that is all the time we have on the show. Impact Event Center for. The 20th of July, 2023. Um, fallout from Slammiversary. We'll see what happens on the next show. So tomorrow, new episode of Strategy, Luck, Knowledge, and Daring of Bullseye. That's right. I'm really excited about that. So that will be coming tomorrow. All right. So until the next episode comes rolling around, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode of the show. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production. And in association with a sweet bowl for raving dingleberries, telepictures, and distribution. Thank you for watching another great episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. Until the next episode, goodbye for now. <laughs>